Welcome back to AlgorJS. Today's question is leak code 34. Find first and last position of element in sorted array. So given an array of integers and nums, sorted in non-decreasing order, find the starting and ending position of a given target value. If target is not found in the array, return minus one, minus one. You must write an algorithm with O log n runtime complexity. So in example one, we have this nums array. We have a target equal to eight and an output which is equal to three and four. The reason for this is the index of the starting position of eight and ending position of eight is three and four. In example two, we have this nums array and target is equal to six. And as you can see, target of six is not found in the nums array. So we return minus one, minus one. The same with example three, target zero is not found in an empty array. So we return minus one, minus one. So the question is asking for a solution with log n time complexity. So that will be binary search. Now, in order to carry out binary search on this, firstly, we need to carry out two binary searches. So we need one to find the leftmost value of an element within the array, and two, we need one to find the rightmost value. We can start off by defining the left bound and the right bound. And we've initialized it to minus one, just in case we don't find the actual target within the nums array, we will always return the correct value if the target is not found. We're gonna have a res array down here, which we'll populate towards the end. So let's start this binary search. So we need a left and right pointer. We grab the middle with math.floor and we check this middle value to see if it's equal to target. So the number at the middle position is less than target. So we know for a fact that anything contained within the left side of middle will not include the target. So this right here can be removed. And in order to do that, we need to increment our left pointer to mid plus one. Now we update the mid, so mid is math.floor left plus right divided by two. This is equal to eight. So we have found a value that is equal to eight. But here we're looking for the left bound, which means that anything on the left of this should not be equal to eight. So as long as we have the middle value, which is equal to eight, the target, and its left value does not equal eight, then we have found the left bound. So we have found the leftmost element. But this isn't the case, right? Because we have eight on the left. So now we know that the value we're looking for cannot be found within this section. So we update right to mid minus one. Then we update the mid. We look at mid, mid is equal to target. Is the left value of mid equal to the target? No, it's not. So we have found the left bound and we can update it with this index. Now that we found the left bound, we need to carry out a binary search on the same nums array to find the right bound element. So let's do that. So we have the left and right, do the same as before, get the mid. Mid is less than target. So we know that it's not going to be contained within the left side. So we increment left to mid plus one. We update the mid. Is the value at mid equal to target? Yes, it is. So we look now to the right position of mid in order to work out whether it's the rightmost element. So the right element, with the value at mid, is not equal to target. So it is, in fact, the rightmost element. So now we can just return this index. Then we can update res to include the left bound and right bound. And finally, return this here. And time complexity, as stated in the question, is going to be O log n, and space is O1. So let's start off by declaring our left and right pointer. We also need to declare left bound and right bound. So this is going to equal minus 1. And right bound is also going to equal minus 1. So while left is less than or equal to right, in this binary search, we're going to look for the left bound. We work out the mid, which is equal to left plus math.floor, right minus left, divide by two. If nums at mid is equal to target and nums mid minus one, so the left value two nums, does not equal target, we have found the leftmost element. So we can say left bound is equal to mid. However, if nums at mid is less than target, well, we know that it's not contained within the left side. So we increment that to mid plus one, else we decrement mid to mid minus one. So that will populate the left bound. We need to look for the right bound element. And in order to do that, we need to reset left to equal zero and reset right to equal numstorlength. And the reason we do this is because we've carried out binary search to look for the left bound, which is updated the left and right pointer. So we just need to reset those. Then we can perform similar binary search, but looking for the right bound value. 
So mid is equal to left dot floor, right minus left divided by two. Now here's where it's changed. So if nums at mid is equal to target and nums mid plus one, so the value on the right of mid does not equal target, we have found the rightmost element. So we can update right bound to equal mid. If nums at mid is less than or equal to target, we update left to mid plus one. Else right is equal to mid minus one. Then we need an array as an output containing the left bound and right bound. So we can just add left bound and right bound into an array. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go.